I've had a little bit of troubles keeping my car clean. Uh, part of the problem is that I just don't have all the tools and I don't have a ton of time to go places to keep the car clean. So the other day I actually finally got my car washed for the second time. This was not at an automatic car wash because those are always closed by the time I get off work. But this one is a, this was a do-it-yourself car wash and it was really awesome and fairly inexpensive. It would have been a lot less expensive if I knew how it worked and I could have gotten it done a lot faster. But the car is super shiny now. It's probably even shinier than when I first got it. But one of the biggest things I struggled with was keeping the interior clean. Actually, the place that I washed the car does have free vacuums if you use the do-it-yourself car wash. So that was pretty cool, but I didn't actually use it because I wanted to try out this vacuum that I ordered off of Amazon. So it got pretty decent reviews. It's not one of the wet-dry vacs that seem to all universally get terrible reviews. This is just a regular old vacuum which should vacuum stuff up. So as you can see, it cleans all messes from bumper to bumper. So this should clean up everything I can throw at it. So obviously I'm going to try spilling some soup into the seat of my car and see if it'll clean that up. Okay, so maybe I'm not going to do that, but I do have a mess that I need to clean up pretty urgently. So you can see down here, all this white powder is laundry detergent that somehow managed to spill out of the container here and is all over my floor. So I really need to vacuum that up. Okay, so here's what it comes with. So it comes with this nice bag, which is actually pretty decent quality. We have this lovely hose here for an extension. So it has this attachment with a brush on the end for vacuuming on cloth surfaces or trying to remove pet hair, things like that. It comes with a spare filter. So according to the instruction manual, these filters are reusable. Uh, you can clean them out regularly with a brush and you can also rinse them out in a sink. Hopefully I won't have to experiment with that too much, but it's good to know that I have a spare one in case I need it. It also comes with this narrow attachment so you can get down between the seats, things like that. So that's going to be very handy because things tend to fall down between the seats and the center console of my car fairly regularly. All right, so let's take this to the front of the car and we'll put it to use and see how well it vacuums up all that powder. Okay, so one thing that's becoming immediately obvious is that my Bluetti here can't power it. So I'll turn it on here. So that should have the DC output powered. I flip the switch and you can hear it try to start, but it fails. And then the switch turns off. So the Bluetti is not powerful enough to power this vacuum. So let's try the 12 volt power port in my car. I'm gonna actually turn the car on for this one because I think this draws a fair amount of power and I don't want to kill my battery. So just a quick disclaimer, I did actually look up the amperage rating of both the vacuum cleaner and that outlet. So the outlet can put out 10 amps max and the vacuum cleaner can draw eight amps max. So in theory, the vacuum cleaner should turn on. All right, so let's try it. Yes, it does. All right. It's actually doing an okay job. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but some of the powder has gotten kind of ground into the carpet, so that's going to take a little bit more cleaning, but it does work. Here, I'll move it to the other side. There's plenty of crumbs and stuff to vacuum up on the driver's side. So let me take it over there and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I'm sure you can see there are crumbs on the seat like that thing and it vacuums it right up. Try some of the stuff on the floor here. Well, that does seem to actually work quite well. I'm not gonna finish doing the vacuuming in the car right now because I have a refrigerator to clean out before it gets dark and so I really need to get on that. But I will definitely be using this vacuum cleaner to help keep this place cleaned up a little bit better than I have been. So if you're a pro vacuum cleaner, uh, please hit the like button and let everyone know how much you like your vacuum cleaners. And it also just helps, you know, with the YouTube thing. And if you're also interested in seeing the window covers that I just bought, feel free to look over there and click that link.